Now continuing our look at embryonic stem cell treatment. China and India, Mexico and South Korea are leading the way using stem cells to treat dozens of incurable conditions and they're doing the impossible, curing people. Brain cancer, blindness, even Lyme disease are reportedly being eradicated by stem cell injections. But this procedure is not available in Canada. And an ethicist at the University of Victoria says it is politics, not science, keeping Canadians from benefiting from this new technology. Mary Beth Burton reports. Kevin Gates was injected with embryonic stem cells and believes those cells have given him back bladder function, sexual function and the ability to walk. Kevin's back was broken from the chest down 17 years ago. Two years ago, he traveled to India for stem cell treatments, a procedure not available in Canada. Any science to back this up? Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes. UVic's bioethicist says the argument against stem cells is flawed because only part of the embryo, the inner layer, is used in stem cell treatments. Most people misunderstand when they say you're destroying a potential human being. No, you're not. You're destroying a potential human being when you destroy both inner and outer layers. But the inner layer will never develop into a human be being no matter what you do. In India, Kevin was injected with cells from a two to five day old embryo. His doctor, Gita Shroff, an infertility specialist, used a practice common in Canada and around the world, selective reduction. Typically, women who have in vitro fertilization are implanted with four embryos. If they all fertilize, two are selectively reduced. In the year 2000, Dr. Schroff took one of those embryos intended to be discarded, created a cell line that's helped more than 800 patients with all kinds of ailments. We have diabetes, we have Parkinson, multi uh, other neurodegenerative disorders, Lyme disease, cerebral palsy, amongst a few of the, um, amongst a few of the diseases. Kevin tells me you've cured blindness. Yes, we have. So why doesn't it happen in Canada? It's against the law. In 1993, the Liberal government put embryonic testing in the criminal code. Under Section 5 of the Assisted Human Reproduction Act, you may not do um, embryonic stem cell work. Dr. Kluge isn't fully on the stem cell bandwagon. They may provide the necessary tissue, but because they're not genetically identical with the host, there may be an immune response or reject the foreign cells. Dr. Schroff has been injecting patients for eight years. And I have seen no rejection. We do not need any immunosuppressants and I have seen no side effects. Either patients have benefited or they have not. There is an alternative to embryonic stem cells. Jonathan Dieleman went to China where his own stem cells were mixed with umbilical cord cells. He can now pedal a stationary bike and may see a full recovery because he was paralyzed one year ago. Dr. Schroff says her treatment is most effective immediately after a spinal cord injury so that scar tissue can't spread. If Kevin had got it when he was injured and we could inject the stem cells at that point, then yes, I would expect almost greater than 90% recovery. The Rick Hansen Institute agrees early intervention with stem cells shows promising results, but says it's not funding stem cell research and sees a need for worldwide standards in this new technology. The Institute is funded by Health Canada, bringing us back to government and politics. Would the Conservative government, in my estimation, touch the Assisted Human Reproduction Act? No. Still, Gates hopes by telling his story, he'll inspire other people with incurable conditions. Or better still, he'd like to see Dr. Schroff's ready-to-ship injectable stem cell treatments offered in Canada. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.